Hey everybody, welcome back to the Honey and Aston channel. We are your hosts, I'm Vincent, a background designer for animation. And I'm Janet, the ex-Disney artist turned independent creator. And in this video, I'm going to be drawing characters from Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I'm going to be sharing some tips, tricks on how I do these ink commissions so hopefully you can learn and become a better artist. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so you're drawing characters from this really old video game. Yes, I had to look them up, but this is a commission and I really love to do, but you should always try it to do. I mean, when you get lazy, yeah. you really don't want to because it's going to be hidden anyways, but you really should because things might not be working correctly if yeah. you don't do that. Yeah, totally. And so I am really drawing out their mannequins. I'm really like making sure their anatomy is correct for putting on their costuming and everything. And the reason why is recently I've been liking to show the body come through the clothes, mm. and even though it doesn't always make sense, it's like so thick. Yeah.
of people in the Star Wars universe want to show off those skinny jeans. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you know, with things like blasters or if you end up drawing guns and stuff like that, they're actually really shuttle shifts in actually did a lot of testing to make sure the lighter tone is light enough so that when we put it next to this darker tone, it works. Yeah, There's a shot of our studio over there. You've been working in this place. This is your home base for yeah. a while now. It's my studio. Yeah. When I sit down there, it's really comfortable to draw yeah. and stuff. And you've been making tons of these drawings, tons of commissions. You know, it's getting, it's getting a lot of love. I see what you mean, like she's getting lost, especially mm -hmm. with the blaster and everything. Yeah. I see, I see. And that's what I mean right there, where like when you're trying to paint with different tones, it can get really messy and really like I do not know what I'm looking yeah. at really quickly. And if you're never sure, the, the thing I always like to ask myself is like, is it clear? Yeah. Is it clear? Is this clear? Is she reading? Is he reading? Right. So I'm, I'm excited to see you fix it because it's going to really make him come forward. Yeah. So here, something that I've been liking to do a lot the background. So what I really like to do is like paint the black background to give me the because it pushes the characters forward. But I notice like sometimes I can get really boring to look at. I've been designing these like really organic shapes in the background to really make it more interesting. Yeah, and these sort of uh, kind of galactical space air stuff mm -hmm. that fits the Star Wars thing. So I think it's fine. It looks great. And I'm making sure to keep this halo effect around lightsaber because I'm going to be painting it to make it look like that lightsaber fuzzy glowing thing. Yeah, so are you using watercolor? Yeah, so I use watercolor I think for their skin. I might have used ink for her mask to really make the red sing. Really bright. Yeah, and I use ink too for the lightsaber. I mix blue and red ink together and really dilated to get that proper like magenta shade. So I'm going in here Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, wherever you can find us. I know.